everyone, I'm Beth from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about reading comprehensions and celebrations and special events. Once children feel confident in phonics, it's now time for them to begin developing their reading comprehension skills. This is less about being able to read each individual word and more about gaining a deeper understanding of what they've read. A lot of non-fiction reading comprehension texts are perfect for a little bit of cross-curricular learning. And what could be more fun than combining learning about reading comprehension with learning about a celebration or a special event. Here at Twinkle, we have got loads of different reading comprehension activities based around world celebrations or special events. Let's have a look. Each of our reading comprehension activities comes with a text, a question sheet, and an answer sheet so children can mark their own answers. Many of these are differentiated, which means that there are different versions with different difficulty levels. One star is the easiest and three stars is the most challenging. A good way to begin a reading comprehension activity is to search for any unknown words. Have your child highlight any vocabulary that they don't know or that they're unsure of. Then you can talk about the definitions together or look them up in a dictionary or online. Your child could then create a glossary and, as a challenge, they could try and write sentences including these words. Then it's time to begin answering questions. A lot of questions in Key Stage 1 are about information retrieval. Highlight the key words in the question. These are any words that can help you find the information you need or help you answer the question in the correct way. Then search the text for those key words to help you find the information you need. Encourage your child to say their answer aloud before writing and try to write it in a full sentence. Other questions might ask for your child's opinion. There's no right or wrong answer to these questions, but they must be able to back their answer up. You can also use these reading comprehension activities as a starting point for further learning about celebrations and special events. Maybe you could do some event sequencing. I'm using this Day of the Dead reading comprehension to help me create a timeline of the different things that people believe will happen during the festival. Maybe you could use what you've learned to create a card or decorations. I'm using what I've learned in this reading comprehension about Eid al-Adha to help me create an Eid card. I've highlighted the different ways that Muslims celebrate Eid al-Adha, like going to mosque, sharing meals with their family and friends, and decorating their hands with mendi. Then I've drawn these onto my card. Here, I'm using a reading comprehension to help me learn about geography and practice my map reading skills. This reading comprehension is all about harvest festival around the world. You could highlight and copy some of the traditions of each country, or even just cut them out and try and place them into the right area of the world. We hope you have loads of fun learning about celebrations and practicing your reading comprehension skills. See you next time.